Hey guys, Tom from PhotoX again. Uh, I've just been playing around with uh, Lightroom 4, the beta. I've just done uh, two videos. I did one yesterday and one today. Um, just quickly showing the different features. Um, I've just been playing around with it and using actual photographs that I've um, used, sort of edited before on Lightroom 3. And there's some really interesting stuff that I want to show you. Okay, so this is a photo that I took um, several months ago. I took it as part of a five frame burst um, to do an HDR image. Um, but I want to show you the new power of Lightroom 4 and I can actually now use this image which was slightly underexposed probably by about a stop or a stop and a half and I want to see if I can now get this underexposed image to be sort of a, a half decent photo on its own. Now the first thing uh, that you might notice if you've been using Lightroom 3 is when you imported a raw photo um, a lot of these options even though there's some different ones on here now already had uh, number values um, for example the brightness which has disappeared but the brightness always used to be on 50 and the contrast quite often uh, was a bit further up and you had to kind of reset it manually um, to get everything back to zero and now, as soon as you import a photo, everything, apart from the white balance, um, if you've got it on a shot, is set to zero. So you've got completely blank canvas. This is the actual raw image as it was captured in the camera. So make sure that doesn't catch you out because um, when you import now, you will need to do work on it uh, regardless. Whereas before you imported it, did already have a few little tweaks done to it already which might have just brought the image up to scratch anyway. So just bear that in mind now, you have to do a little bit more work to get your image uh, to where you want it to be. Now I'm just going to go back to import there because I did just have a quick play around with it. So this is um, out of the camera. I'm just going to quickly uh, play around with it to see what we can get. Now as I said, it's probably about a stop to a stop and a half underexposed. Um, so I'm just going to boost the exposure a little bit, not quite a stop, but maybe just sort of half a stop, something like that, just to give it uh, a bit more brightness in the whole image. Now you can see down here, this wall is quite in shadow. Uh, the sun was sort of behind me when I took this, and this was a big rainstorm coming over the valley. So with our new sliders that we have here, we've got the highlights and the shadows, I can actually bring the highlights all the way down to get rid of uh, some of the bright parts in the sky here but at the same time I can bring the shadows up and you can see down here you can even see my uh, tripod uh, support leg there if you just watch that bottom corner I can bring those shadows right out I've still got a bit of shadow down here um, from the leg of the tripod um, but from where it was at naught that's really pulled that area back and you can also see in the trees down here that are also in shadow it's brought them out now to do that in Lightroom 3 I would have had to have used the fill light slider but that would have increased the fill light on the whole image and I don't want to increase the fill light on this part and I certainly don't want to increase it anymore on the sky so this shadow slider has really sort of um, helped out there. That's done exactly what I wanted it to do. Now we can see we've got our whites here, you can just play around with this. Obviously going too far um, blows all the whites out, I don't want them blown out. I can probably leave that, maybe just boost it a tiny bit. Uh, same with the blacks. I'm going to bring it down a little bit, I don't want to introduce all that black back in the shadows but I do want get a bit more uh, black into the sky and just sort of into the shadowy areas and same with the contrast I don't want to take it too far that's not looking too bad now the clarity slider um, it's one that I use a lot um, quite often in Lightroom 3 you wouldn't want to take it too far because it would start to look quite nasty um, but in this version now you can pretty much boost up to 100% 
and you get this kind of um, fake HDR look from it, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you don't necessarily need to shoot dedicated HDR images anymore. You can get that kind of feel just with the clarity slider, um, which I think is quite good. I mean, I I do a fair bit of HDR. Um, purely because I don't always carry my Lee filters around with me and doing landscapes I want to get the dynamic range in the sky and the foreground but as you can see here um, I didn't use any filters on this shot at all it was just shot uh, with the camera and I've got even though it was slightly underexposed from an HDR bracket capture I've got a fairly, uh, fairly decent uh, image out of it and I'll just Boost the saturation slightly, boost the vibrance not too much. That's a bit too far, maybe to leave it. Tiny bit of sharpening. And just mask that off to see about there. And a tiny bit of noise reduction. Right, there we are. That that took sort of two or three minutes um, from import. Just using these new sliders, I've sort of salvaged what was an underexposed, pretty poor um, photo, and now it looks not too bad at all. I've still got a load of dust spots and stuff to clear out, but so sort of image-wise, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, so far I'm really pleased with this. Um, new Lightroom obviously as I said in the last video you've got all your graduated filter um, white balance and sharpness and noise and all this kind of thing so I could go even further and start putting graduated filters on the sky to bring it down even more um, but on this case uh, I don't want to do that so yeah just um, as I said when you import your images now beware that all these numbered values will be at zero uh, not like before when some are on sort of 25 or 150 so that's what it looks like after I just fiddled with it for a bit and um, we can reset it you see it really is um, quite a difference there so that's just a quick uh, a quick go on the new Lightroom sliders just to show you what they actually do to an image um, I'll probably post some more videos up as and when I find other cool stuff on here um, so yeah, go download it, give it a go. It's a really good, uh, really good little program. All right, cheers.